This is Breaking News Now from today's TMJ4. And we're following that breaking news here at noon. We Energies has been called to a gas leak. This is happening in Burlington right now. Now we're told a contractor was doing some work and hit a gas main at Main Street in Edgewood. The Burlington Fire Department has evacuated part of the neighborhood. Now we'll keep you updated as this situation develops. And more breaking news at noon. A federal jury finds a Janesville man wanted in a 10 day manhunt guilty of stealing weapons. Uh, it took the jury less than two hours to come up with that unanimous decision. The jurors decided that Joseph Jakubowski did in fact steal weapons from a Janesville gun store and was a felon when he did so. Julia Fellow is live in Madison for that dramatic conclusion. Julia. And Vince Joseph Jakubowski was found guilty. He's now going to have to wait for his sentencing that could leave him behind bars for up to two decades coming up in December. It was a fast moving trial that took place yesterday. It was just all in one day. What was left out of this trial, though, was Jakubowski's 161 page anti government manifesto he sent to the White House and the dramatic manhunt to find him that included more than 100 law enforcement officials. The acting U.S. attorney tells me it's because none of that applied to this case. Most of the 20 guns stolen, though, still have not been found, he tells me. Jakubowski told our I-team in a jailhouse interview he buried them somewhere in the woods. The acting U.S. attorney tells me he doesn't believe that. The fact that he was gone for an extended period of time, he took 15 or 16 firearms, including a, including a fully automatic uh, weapon, posed a great danger to the community. And it's for that reason that a number of the uh, facilities, the schools and, and churches were shut down. A defense lawyer spoke to me off camera today upstairs on the third floor. He told me that Jakubowski at sentencing coming up this winter plans to read a letter that he wrote apologizing to the gun store owner, Armageddon Supplies in Janesville, for all that has happened. Also, Jakubowski faces another jury trial, this time in state court in Rock County. That's for three other felony charges, and that will start next month, October 23rd. We'll bring you more updates on that trial when it happens. Reporting live in Madison, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.